All right, so this is Christy doing a basic squat. So weight is back on the heels. You should be able to kind of wiggle your toes in your shoes and then squat down as if you're going to you know, sit on the toilet and then you change your mind, come back up. But the most important thing is that when you get to the top, you squeeze. You have to contract the muscles that you're working, which is your glutes, your quads, and your calves. So when you get to the top of the squat, you have to squeeze. That's what makes this beneficial. If you just go through the motion without contracting the muscles, you're just working your knee joint. Yes, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Yeah, make sure you squeeze. Now I'm going to show this from a side view also. So you actually have to really sit back. Like you're going to sit down on a chair and then you change your mind. Come up, squeeze the butt cheeks together. And then another way you can do it is turning your toes out. Mm -hmm. And doesn't that get the inner thighs more? Mm -hmm. A little more focus on the, the adductor muscles. So it's like a plie. This is why ballerinas have such pretty thighs, pretty legs. Okay. And oh, I'm thirsty. Another one that you can do is like to add in something else it would be a squat with a side leg lift. Uh -huh. And this includes, this kind of brings in the abductor muscles, the outer thigh muscles. And again, on the way up, you just want to squeeze what you're working glutes and outer thigh, keep everything nice and tight. As you squat, as you sit down, the weight goes back to your heel chest stays up and your abs always tight. And then a bursting type of squat would be like a squat jack. Okay. Or a 180 squat. So okay. we'll do a squat jack. So this is how one way to make a squat more plyometric, again for those fast twitch muscle fibers. Down into that same squat, still squeezing when you come up. Or the 180. This is one you want to use your arms on to help you kind of get some air so you have time to turn. If you keep them out, you can break your fall. <laughs> and you want to. Move. And on these squats, you want to squat down far enough, whether you're jumping or not, to make the back, the back part of your leg, your hamstring parallel to the floor. So you want to go down as far as you can. And of course, that depends on your your knees, how good your knees are. But go ahead and sit down as far as you can before you come up.